Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The default paper size in OneNote is auto, which means the pages are created with no predefined size. As you add content, the OneNote page will automatically grow indefinitely both downwards and to the right to accommodate new content. While this may meet your needs for on-screen viewing, paper size is an important consideration if you plan on printing any of your pages. With a page selected, you can view the current paper size by clicking the View tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Paper Size button in the Page Setup group. OneNote will then launch the Paper Size pane where you can make changes. You can use the Size drop-down to select a new paper size from any of the available presets including Letter, Legal, and Postcard. You can also select Custom to customize the size of your own settings if you prefer. When a selection other than Auto is made, the page's borders will be visible with a dark gray representing the background behind your page. You'll see then on the left hand side over here is that dark gray background and also then at the bottom. So that represents then the background. Now if you want to adjust the margins of the page to accommodate your content, you can enter a new value into any one of the four print margins over here. So maybe we want, for example, to change the left to 0.5 and the right to 0.5 as well and see what those changes do to it. And again, then it's now accommodating more of our content. So you can make those changes to the paper size as you're getting ready to print, and then you might need to move some of your content into that new page area that you create so that you can get it to print correctly depending on the size of paper that you chose in the paper size pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.